Michael Schwamm enjoys boating on the sea. Last summer was no different until he slipped following a 4th of July celebration and suffered a severe ankle injury, which required orthopedic surgery not once, but twice. I've had a lot of injuries in my life, and from a pain standpoint, that was one of the most painful injuries I've ever endured. The injury was so severe, it required the placement of nine surgical screws and a plate to allow the ankle to heal properly. As time went by, the hardware began to bother him, and months later, he had to spend his Christmas vacation recovering from a preventable second surgery. As my ankle healed and that pain subsided, the plate would get cold and become painful. I also could feel one or two of the screws through the layers of skin. Bioengineers are developing a new type of orthopedic fixation device to eliminate the need for a second surgery. Dr. Peter Lelkish, chair of the bioengineering department at Temple University, and his lab student Anthony John Ficaro are researching and developing dissolving surgical screws and plates. Fixation device in principle is something that fixes two broken pieces together. Biodegradable materials in the body are in general beneficial because as they degrade and, and leave a void, the body can uh, replace uh, these voids with tissue or, or bone ingrowth. These particular materials will help that you do not need revision surgeries. Dissolving surgical screws and plates are much different from the titanium hardware originally used for orthopedic surgery. These fixation devices are made up of a biodegradable base material, known as a polymer, and small amounts of nanodiamonds for strength. The perfect combination of these materials will lead to the final product. They work like any regular old screw. They'd screw it into your bone. The fact that they're made out of the plastic allows them to dissolve inside your body as time goes on. Despite their miraculous dissolving properties, the screws and plates must have the perfect combination of these two materials for them to work properly. Too much or too little nano diamonds results in materials that are too brittle or too elastic. Our nano diamonds have a variety of different functional groups bonded to them. And so another difficulty was figuring out which functional group on the nano diamonds we should use and which ones increase the benefits the most. Dr. Lelkish is hopeful the dissolving screws and plates will be available in two to three years. You can contribute valuable tools that the surgeons on, uh, or the clinicians wouldn't have without you. This is in many areas you are able to help people. Lab students at Temple University have supported Lelkish's work. Today's younger generation is playing an important role in the advancements of all aspects of medical engineering not just bioengineering. It's definitely on the forefront of like engineering because you're using kind of a whole different whole lot of skill sets, you know, we're we're bioengineers but we're also mechanical engineers and electrical engineers and material scientists, you know, it's it's not just a clear-cut path to get here. So it's kind of a, a culmination of all those different disciplines and I, and that's why I think it's really cool. It's just because you get to combine a whole bunch of things.